I just thought I'd show you a few t a few things I do when I'm decorating this big sort of jar I've made. I'll try and show you a few of my tools I use and some of the designs, simple designs you can use to do it. So. first tool I use is my trimming tool, or turning tool as we call it in England, which is a homemade thing. If you put trimming tools into my search box you'll see a better demo of it, which might show it up a bit better. And this thing just takes all the lines out really, a lot of the throwing lines out. down the pot and it smooths it up a bit. Oh, no. I've got this thing here which is just another tool with a rounded edge which you use to make a groove. It just digs in and cuts a groove in. So I'll do that at the top just to help with the design. And with this you can cut some definition into the foot. That cuts a big groove, as you can see the ribbon coming out. You can make a nicer shape, form it a bit better. Take some more clay out, make it a bit narrower at the base. It's a form of foot like so, a bit of detail on it. Tidy up the bottom with that. Obviously, you can smooth everything off with your fingers if it's soft enough. So that's the trimming. You don't want to make it absolutely super fine, and it makes it look like it's been made in a mould. You want to still make it look like it's been made on a wheel by your hand. So I'm going to add some slip which is just cobalt oxide which is slip with a certain amount of cobalt added. I'm going to let this dry a bit and I'm going to use a chattering tool to do that. But there's another simple one you can use where you just use your finger. It's got to be quick before it dries so you, you slop, slap your, your oxide off and then with your fingernail backwards around like that. Just stop it for a touch, for a sec, just to show you the effect. That gives you that effect. It's all random, so. I'm use some different, different oxide. This is nickel, which will come out just like a shiny brown colour. Just pat, put that in. Only some bands in between. Cobalt down there with my finger. And now with this final chattering tool, which is a piece like that, you need it to be quite dry for it to. It needs to bounce around. You see, you should be able to hear it. Maybe if it's dry enough, so just hold it loosely, place it on. Bounces. It's not quite dry enough, but we'll get a rough effect. I'll just finish off with a bit more cobalt on the top for the blue. The lid's just dropped on the floor, that was going to put on it and smashed. So. Anyway, that's the effect you can get. Chattering tool, fingers, simple bands, and that's it. The lid that has now dropped off and broken. But that's what it would have looked like. I mean, I just dropped it off.